Hey, what's going on? Alan Brown here with another free video in the free beat marketing course presented by BeatWebsites.com. Now, I want to say uh, this is the 20th video in this series. Even though this is video number 18, we did uh, two free bonus videos. So this actually makes video uh, 20 in the free beat marketing course, which that is a milestone because I have uh, I set a goal to do 40. Now, what I'm really uh, happy about is that I finally broke the ice. And there were uh, three customers, which uh, there was a total of uh, four beat sales, actually six beat sales, but one of the customers did a, uh, the buy two, get two free. All right, so, I mean, technically six beat sales, but only getting paid for four of them because two of them was free. All right, so as a package deal, that's how that went. So I want to get into that because, um, let's see, the last video I did, I was just looking back on YouTube, and uh, video 17... You know, again, there's two bonuses here, so it's like 19 videos, but video 17 was published on March 5th, 2016, and at that time, uh, it still was only a dollar and 12 cent here for my test sales that I did, I think, at the end of February sometime when I started the course, okay? So right now, we're up to $41, which is good. Again, it's always good to break the ice, and also, you got to know that I'm doing this at a slow pace while I'm, you know, developing, uh, you know, software and you know, running other businesses and projects and whatnot. So this is something that's a side project, but actually to show you how to get your beat business going, some concepts to use, and how to get some sales moving on your website, all right? So um, let me just go into the transaction just to show you. I will probably block out the person's names, but let me just pull up uh, on the transaction page. Right here, you see all the completed sales. So again, the first test sales on the site were right here, which I did in... Uh, You'll see the price of the beats were like $0.28 cent each, came up to like $1.12, $1.13, all right? And that was uh, last month. And then you have here, the first sale that came in on the site actually was, uh, look at that, four days after I published that video. So it was the uh, the ninth. someone bought K The Great's uh, Haterade. And then um, the next four beats right here came in on the next day. They were sold to uh, buy two, get one free. I mean, excuse me, buy two, get two free. And here, what list, here's the, the list of the titles of those beats. And then on the 19th, another beat was purchased. And uh, th these beats were purchased by nine members, which is fine. Early on in 2011, when I launched the site, a lot of people were like, hey, we don't necessarily want people to sign up before they purchase. And uh, it makes total sense. So that, that feature was put in a long time ago. But some people, like to, some people will sign up and create an account, and some won't. So, you know, they get that option. But right here in the... My email account, excuse me for having AOL, I had it for years, I'm very accustomed to it, so I like it. But here's the first sale from this particular person, and I don't see nothing wrong with showing the names, I don't think I'll show their emails, but um, we'll just click on, I think this, the second person was the one who bought the, first, the four beats, so I'll end up blocking out the sensitive information, which is the person's email, but here's the beats that are listed right here, that you also seen in the admin area, alright, came out to 1998, alright, so basically just doing some of the basic stuff that I said in the course I didn't do absolutely you know not that much promotion yet it, it does play a good part that the name is bobbeats.com and people literally put that inside of the search engine so when I'm talking about cycle demographics and naming your domain name you know it's a benefit to have a name like that or something close to it that people are already searching to do so that helps um, I haven't really impacted social media with this uh, with this with this site as of yet which is what I'm going to start doing in the next series of videos uh, with also I'm going to show you the article that I'm presenting now I'm going to upload to social media and start trying to get some uh, you know shares and whatnot on the particular article that I'm using or sharing next but this is just the beginning of breaking the ice um, this is video this is the 20th video and I was hoping that by the 20th video some you know beat sales will start coming in and this is actually what's happened so right now I'm going to kick it up a notch and start to uh, push a little bit more and more and more while I'm got you know other projects going after if it's you and you're following this of course you can watch all of these in a day or two and start to implement a lot of the things that you're seeing inside of this particular course but you know that's the benefit I guess of watching them in this series like binge watching them so you can watch them all and start implementing things or whatever so um, that's pretty much that all right so I'm gonna go into this new article that I wrote let me find it real quick actually let me go ahead and pay you know what I said I was gonna do I said I was gonna pay Katie Great on the um, the website, so you can see when you have a enterprise website, all right, which is 
one of the main things that's very important, how I've made so much money, I'm talking about hundreds and thousands of dollars, is driving traffic to multiple producers, all right? Having a hub of producers in one place, and that allows people to know that they can come there and get a large variety. Now, if you have your own enterprise site, which you can get from uh, beatwebsites.com, you can always feature your stuff. You can always put your stuff out front. Again, if you're learning how to start driving all of this traffic and get all of this traffic, you're leaving a lot of money on the table if you're just presenting your beats only. All right. So uh, next month, which is going to be April, you may be listening to this after the fact, but next month, which is going to be April, I'm presenting a package where I'm dropping the, the some of the features on the enterprise to make it more accessible to a lot of producers so you can get the concept of actually driving traffic to your particular website. Not going to devalue the package that we have now. Just going to open up the opportunities with the software so that when you're driving traffic, you can actually see the benefit of incorporating more uh, you know, production of different styles on your site. Again, you're driving beat traffic, so you might as well benefit as much as you can with that traffic. All right. So how do you pay you know your producers uh, when you're using the beat websites? It's simple. You go and you put the, the month and the uh, the year that you're going to do and just press search and what will pop up is the I'm going to block out K the Great's email address I know you know I'm not sure if you want everybody to get that but then you'll scroll down once your your, your list of producers here comes out to pay and then you'll just press uh, mark as paid I'm going to do that right now so first I want to check next to his name alright so it will mark check next to those uh, beat cells that, he, that he's getting paid for then I'm going to download this uh, CSV file right here. I'm going to download that. And you see it says 326. So I'm just going to download that somewhere easy on my computer. Where I can find it easily. Alright, then I'm going to go over to PayPal really quick. So if you give me just a minute, I'm going to pause the video. Go over to PayPal and just show you how I'm going to upload that same file and pay it. Katie, great. Give me a second. All right, I'm back over here, or I'm actually over here for the first time at PayPal. And of course, you know, PayPal have different options. Now, the mass pay feature, it may be only for premium and business accounts. You may have to upgrade your, pay, your PayPal account. But um, when you come in here and you go to your tools and you go to send money, you simply would just click on uh, make a mass payment. So I just clicked on that, and it's going to tell me to upload the file right here, okay? And you can pay out up to 5,000 people at a time. All right, there was a time on Rock Battle when, when I used Mass Pay, and this is what I would do to pay like 150 producers at one time. All right, so we're just talking about uh, K the Great. We're going to grab that file that we put into our computer. All right, I got the file in place. I had to unzip it, so I didn't see it at first because it was in zip format. So I unzipped the file, and here we go right here. Um, and I'm sending basically on email addresses, so it's going to ask me that. Email addresses, subject line is going to be... Um, So it's just simple, bobbeats.com payout for beat sales. Um, not going to put a message there right now. Just going to press review. Make sure everything worked properly. And there you have it. So it's, um, you know, there's his email address. I'm going to block that out again. And here's the amount. And the fee to me is 48 cent. And basically he's getting 60% of the, the $39 that was uh, paid out. So $23.96, which I believe is 60%. Give me a second. Let's do the math really quick. I think it was uh, let's see, thirty nine ninety six. All right, so we got the calculator out. We put in thirty nine point ninety six times point six zero equals twenty three ninety seven. Twenty three ninety six. Close enough. It's just off by a penny. But that's pretty much his payout. And again, this site is new, so we're looking to make even more money once we start adding producers and adding more traffic and blah, blah, blah. But it breaks the ice. Uh, since the Beat website uh, has been up on this particular domain, he's the first person getting paid like that. So I'm just going to press submit right now. And there it goes. So he'll be receiving that payment. It's, uh, pretty simple. All right, so that's pretty much how that works. Now I want to get into the second half of this particular video. And talk about the article that I just uh, put together to start uh, generating some social media buzz, you know, as well as getting the site spidered and stuff like that in index for SEO. I just want to start putting some articles together to start driving traffic with the articles, all right? So, this next half of this video is going to be basically talking about that. 
all right so now I'm over here at the SEO checker where I put my article in and uh, this is actually the first time on video actually the first time that I'm putting out a, a uh, complete hundred percent article that means I pass all of the tests that my article is supposed to have and uh, going to basically show you how I did that and how I formatted the article now some producers um, that are reaching out to me are still having issues with formatting their article if you follow the format that I lay out right here really quick you know you gotta follow the same basic thing find the keyword that your demographic will be looking for your demographic is on SoundCloud so SoundCloud is a keyword here alright a keyword phrase um, forget about just single words try to find phrases uh, you know two words three words four words and put it here for your keyword next you want to have a title and the concept that you're going to write about based around that keyword but making it at least you know where somebody would want to read it so this particular article is if you use SoundCloud beware of the thieves all right so I'm going to pretty much um, try to do something where people would share it even if they're not artists but share it with other artists or you know just have them click through to the site just to see what it's about okay so it's uh if 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 you use SoundCloud, beware of the thieves. All right, now that's a lot of people. A lot of the target people that I want to sell to, they use that. So that headline or whatever I'm doing is supposed to attract them. All right. So I have my meta tag in place again. Not big with Google, but the other search engines is good with. So you put it in place. If you use SoundCloud, there's the keyword again, SoundCloud, to market and promote your music. Beware. All right. Now here's the article. Now I I went ahead and wrote 800 words which actually gave me a green check anything over 800 and change gives me a green check because that is a lot of content and that's what the search engines favor a lot of unique quality content all right now I start off with my keyword in bold I right? pay attention to the format here and um, I write my first paragraph which is basically just talking about the intro of the article and what it's going to basically be about all right and that's here again you can come to bobbeast.com and you can read it I'm not going to read it word for word I'm just going to point out the format alright and my first h2 tag I don't have the exact very uh, the exact word the keyword phrase but I have just used the word cloud so you know I, I present here in the intro that there's three issues that I'm going to point out so I say issue number one too many thieves in the cloud alright so I use that and that's just a play on words but the key thing is for me to use that for the search engines okay so I'll do that even sometimes if it doesn't make 100% sense, I'm only doing it for the search engine. All right. Then I have all of this article with my keywords in here and so uh, and some variations, which when we go up top, the, it checks out that I have three uh, sound words by itself and I have three cloud words by itself outside of me using the keywords. And this is so I don't look like I'm spamming. So I have those variations out there just to check for you to make sure you're not going overboard. All right. My next title. Um, again my keyword is SoundCloud but I didn't put it in the, the next H2 tag I just used the word sound so copywriting your music sound may not be enough I very much could have just put copywriting your music may not be enough but again I want to use a variation of my keyword so I put sound in there okay um, and then down here there's no keyword in this one but the cost to fight back again I'm talking about the issue so I just put, I point out three issues as far as um, you know people stealing on SoundCloud music artists excuse me industry executives music artists and writers how they may come to SoundCloud to get ideas and it's you know it's a big hub of ideas and how the person who's reading this may want to protect themselves from the people who are thieves and whatnot then I talk about if you should copyright your music or not how you can do it and how you should go as far as going maybe to DC and copy your music or sending your music off alright so it's a quality article then I talk about here the cost to fight back talk about even Jay-Z and Timberland's recent bout with um, Big Pimpin and that family that owned you know the, the, the family that basically said they had rights to the person who um, put the music out originally um, they didn't have the rights long story short but the battle took eight years so I talk about that just briefly here and talk about you know the cost of, of fighting a battle if you have to have a, a battle and whatnot and then there was an actual link with the keyword in the link and then there's an inbound link to buy with my keyword or keyword I'm using back to the website. All right. So if you follow the format here and you read this and you look at it and you look what my keyword is and then you follow here as far as the image you put up and everything, you score over 100. That means you have a quality article. The search engine is going to love your article and it's going to index it. And it's going to send traffic to it. Trust me. All right. So that's pretty much that. Now we can go and uh, after I save that 
check it out on the actual website and here it is on the website and I need to refresh it because I changed the image All right, and the image right here is this is what's going to be shared on social media before you upload on SoundCloud beware All right. so when that passes by artists that are uploading on SoundCloud it's enough to grab their attention you see the little thief here running away with the little music note it's just a concept All right. I'm um, going to just share that really quick on social media. Of course, I'm going to share it in groups and other fan pages, whatever, to see if there's an angle where we can get this thing shared. All right, so I'm not logged in. Let me just uh, pause the video and log in really quick. All right, I'm back. I just had to log in really quick. So pretty much, I'm just going to put the same heading that I have on the site. I'm going to put that uh, inside of how I'm sharing it. The title. That's it. That's pretty much that. And then I'm going to post this on the uh, Bob Beats uh, page. Hold on. Yeah, I'm going to post this on the Bob Beats page. I'm going to tweet it and do everything else that I should be doing with it. And I'm going to actually start moving on social media. All right, so I'm here on Facebook just to check out the post. And the post went up pretty much okay. I see I'm clipped over here. I could have brought that down some, but it's just fine. As long as you see SoundCloud and Beware and you can see the titles, it's uh, definitely shareable. And I'm going to try to get that in front of a lot of artists in a minute. Now, this is a new page. Again, you know, so far I haven't spent any money or any real money. Um, you know, I might spend $5 here, $10 here, but you may have to do that initially to get things started. Facebook offers you an opportunity to spend a couple of dollars to start getting some likes in. So I very much well probably will do that along with maybe boost a couple of posts just to get things started, see how it works out and um, get articles like this in front of artists, in front of music artists so they can share it and feel like they have the need to make their community aware. And at the same time, when you click on this particular article, what does it do? I'll tell you what it does. It brings you right back to BotBeast.com, which is where exactly we want these artists coming to stumble across you know the beats that are here that's the idea right that's one of the ideas right that's pretty much that so you know as far as the video series this is the 20th video in this particular series and I'm going to do 20 more I'm going to slow it down so I can master a few things um, with the site and with the traffic and uh, pretty much focus on automation I think um, in the next videos that I come out with I will have already been doing some things to automate the process with some stuff in reference to uh, Instagram and Facebook and some other marketing. But you have to know that once you write these particular articles and they're up, that's you particularly that's you actually doing you know things one time and those those things are working for you once you get them once you get them set off. All right, so you want to have a you know a weekly or daily or monthly regimen that you're doing to keep on getting your assist your tr your traffic pumped up keep pumping your traffic up keep doing stuff so on that particular note i think i pretty much talked about everything i needed to talk about in this particular video and uh until then i'll see you on the next video peace